Plymouth Model Q4 door sedan 1928. This 1928 Plymouth Model Q4 door sedan comes from the first year of production for Chrysler's entry-level Plymouth brand and was assembled at its plant in Highland Park, Michigan. The car was acquired for the seller's collection in 2000 from a fellow club member who had reportedly owned it for 25 years, and previous owners are said to have included the Harris collection in Reno, Nevada. A refurbishment in blue and black over a saddle interior took place prior to the seller's acquisition, and the car was used to win awards at Haka and Plymouth Owners Club events from the 1970s to the 1990s. A 170s inline for supplies power to the rear wheels via a 3-speed manual transmission, and a service five years ago included fluid changes, wheel cylinder rebuilds, and a vacuum tank repair. This Model Q is not currently licensed and is offered with factory literature and a clean Florida title in the seller's name. The car was refinished in blue with black fenders, bronze pinstriping, and a black vinyl top under previous ownership. A visor is fitted above the windshield, and a spare rim and tire are attached to the rear end above the fuel tank. The seller notes the presence of original style wood supports for the bodywork. Blue painted 20 inches wheels feature gold pinstripes on their wood spokes and wear Firestone tires. The Model Q was equipped with Lockheed hydraulic drum brakes at all four wheels from the factory, and the wheel cylinders were rebuilt five years ago according to the seller. The cabin is finished in saddle brown on the front and rear bench seats, carpet, headliner, and door panels. Creases in the upholstery are shown in the gallery below. The painted dashboard features a drum speedometer, oil pressure and amperage gauges, and a five-digit odometer showing approximately 3K miles. The car has been driven just three miles during its 20 years in the seller's collection, and actual mileage is unknown. A separate ignition switch and battery cutoff have been installed as a temporary workaround to a broken ignition lock keyway. The 170 Silver Dome in line for sense power to the rear wheels through a three-speed manual transmission. A service five years ago reportedly included fluid changes, a vacuum tank repair, and an engine compartment detailing. Additional suspension and undercarriage photos can be viewed in the gallery below, as can the factory literature included in the sale.